Hello again, it's Mrs. Jones, and this is the video for the nose worksheet. Uh, again, it will be in the description, a link will be in the description for this worksheet. You don't have to have the worksheet. Uh, you can just use a regular sheet of paper and a pencil and an eraser if you need it. I actually don't need the eraser for this one. Um, I just had it just in case. I grabbed a regular pencil uh, so to show you that you can do it with a regular pencil. So um, I'm starting with the outline, the contour lines again. I like to start with the nostrils because it's going to be the darkest point, uh, darkest part of this whole picture. Uh, and then I just put in all of those outlines that you see in that top sample picture. Uh, but just make sure that you draw them kind of lightly because you're going to shade it enough to where you don't see those lines. Also remember to try to make this nose as large as you can within that box since shading and putting details uh, and shadows are easier when you're working bigger and um, you're not drawing a tiny little nose within that big huge box. Uh, try and draw as, as large as you can and we won't be shading in all of the box again. Uh, it will just be the, the shadows that you see in the sample picture on the worksheet. So I started shading the darkest part, which are the nostrils. But notice that inside the nostrils it's dark, but it starts to get lighter down at the bottom of the nostrils. So um, make sure that you're not just covering the nostrils with this deep dark hole. It does get lighter at the bottom. I'm shading the left side more than the right, just like the sample picture. The left side of the, the nose is the shadow side. So if you imagine that there's a sun or a light shining on the right side of the nose, then you know that everything on the left side would be darker. And that's what the picture is showing, so that's what we're going for. But even though I'm putting in that initial shadow, I'm going to blend it out a little more uh, with more shading. And if you want to get darker, of course, you're going to press harder with your pencil. And then lighter shadows will be pressing lighter with your pencil. We're all just going to use one pencil for this, unless you have some really nice sketch pencils. This is just a regular uh, school pencil that I'm using. Um, you don't have to use anything special. So. Here I'm shading in the philtrum. It's right above the cupid's bow. Uh, it's underneath the septum, but above the cupid's bow. And that part, uh, ev just about everybody has a philtrum, but it's there's a little cleft, a little indention, so it, it does hold shadow whenever there's light coming from the side.
the rest of this video is pretty much me darkening the shadows where they need to be. Remember to look at the sample picture on uh, the worksheet. But uh, I'm just blending them out. I'm putting darker shadows and then blending them out to the lighter shadows. And that's going to uh, give you more of a realistic effect. So it is just layers and layers of more shading. Lighter shading where it's lighter and um, harder shading where it's darker. And that's it. So I hope you liked the video and I hope it helps you. Uh, it's gonna build on to when we do the lips and then we do the ear and we get to that half portrait. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.